Hey everybody, it's day 291, Training Daily Excellence. My name is Brad Gieske. Today we are talking about how bad do you really want it? Earlier today I did the first intense workout that I've done in a while. And so, needless to say, I am sore right now. But the soreness reminds me of a time when I had to decide... How much do I really want it? Because when you are striving for greatness, when you're working on getting better, when you're reaching, it's a painful process. It really is. There's no no way around it. You have to focus your energy and you also have to have a clearly defined purpose for why you're doing it. Otherwise, you won't continue to do it and you'll find a point where you plateau and just stay the same. Because we all seek comfort in life. That's a human thing to seek comfort. But not many of us continually seek greatness. And it's the ones that continually seek greatness that go the furthest, that become the best in the world. Now, a few days ago, I watched a documentary on Ronnie Coleman. For those of you that don't know him, He was an eight-time Mr. Olympia, which is a bodybuilding competition where they decide who is the biggest, most proportional, and uh, leanest individual. So uh, the process of of bodybuilding is, is very extreme, and especially at that high level, you're taking your body from one state, making it way, way larger by building muscle mass. And so you're eating a ton, um, you're, you're eating like it's your job, you're working out really, really hard and heavy so that you can make those muscles adapt because the muscles are only going to adapt if you're giving them a really, really high load and high demand. And then you get to another point where you've built all of your mass and you have to break all of that back down. So you have to do tons of cardio, you have to restrict your portion sizes and and then even closer it gets even worse because you have to dehydrate yourself so you have to wait um on and you have to gauge your water intake so that you're not taking in too much water so that you look as dried out as possible to look as lean as possible so um the reason why this applies to soccer it's it's not that I want soccer players to become bodybuilders. The reason that applies to soccer, though, is because psychologically, you have to really, really, really want it to not take a sip of water when that could be the difference between winning and losing when you're extremely thirsty, to not eat an extra meal when you're hungry late at night when it's getting closer to the competition, to diligently go through the process of working out sometimes two times a day while way out from competition when you're building mass, forcing yourself to eat. Now, that's a huge, huge level of commitment, but soccer is the same. How many times do you have to go to practice even when you're not feeling it that night? How many times do you need to make sure that you're having healthy meal choices when you'd rather have McDonald's? How many times do you got to make sure that you're hydrated days out from your tournament in order that you can play at a high level? How many times do you have to take an extra 100 strikes on the goal to make sure that that one time the ball is crossed to you and you receive the ball, and you have a touch out at the top of the box, and then hit the strike, that nobody will stop it. So my question stands, how bad do you want it? It's a painful process. It's not always just doing what you want. Oftentimes it's doing what you need to do to make it happen. But in the end, I will tell you from personal experience, it's all worth it. I do not regret any time that I spent working on the game. And there were 
vast spans of my life, years upon years upon years, I was training two or more hours a day. And I don't regret a single minute that I spent training. A single minute I was getting better. Because that was my purpose. That's what I wanted to do with my life. And those sacrifices I made aren't regrettable. Those were, those were great things. That was what I needed to fulfill the opportunities that were before me. And even the opportunities I didn't actualize. That's why I needed to have a chance at those opportunities. So oftentimes, it's just setting yourself up for the chance that something could happen. Okay, so as, as you go about forming yourself as a player, just think to yourself, how bad do I want it? And let that be your guiding light. Thanks guys so much. Like, subscribe, and share. We'll see you tomorrow.